fun fact. All our Telegram channel subscribers share at least one thing in common. They've all tried water at least once in their lives, and I guess you aren't that different from them, are you? <laughs> anyway, when you start trading words like resistance, trendline, pattern, they all sound alien and strange. But if you keep trading, you'll quickly get to know what they mean, as well as how to use them, along with many other instruments, indicators and oscillators. That being said, there are just two things that make a trader successful. Expertise and market awareness. And if expertise is something that comes with experience, market awareness is something you should be working on consciously and continuously since markets are never the same. And this is why my friends, you have me and our Telegram channel, where we post market analysis, trading advice and signals all for free. Let me show you how you can use that to your advantage real quick. Now, here's the GBP-JPY chart for you. At first sight, it looks nice and simple. The price first goes back down towards the support, but eventually can't break it and gets stuck at that level. And candlestick shadows indicate that. It looks like a typical rebound, and we should probably expect the market to go up a bit before it continues moving in line with the downtrend. So we enter the market with a 10 minute call and wait to see what happens. And what happens next is what often happens when trading against the trend. The price stayed at that level, but only for a short while. And then the downtrend continued in a steep fall, indicating the bear's strength and dominance. All in all, the market proved a bit too volatile, so we get back to trading only after a quick break. Alright, let's not make the same mistake again. We move on to the next case with the market trading in a downtrend. Now, how do I know this? Because I confirmed it with a longer time frame chart. And what do we see happening during the last few minutes? We see the market going up towards the resistance, that's one, and second, we see this double impulse pattern forming. Now, there's the first impulse, then the market consolidates in the form of a bullish flag, and then another impulse up follows. And all this tells me that the market should go down, at least until the level where it consolidated last time. So, following the Martin Yale system, we enter the market with a 10 minute put. Just what the doctor ordered. The price went down right away. And by the way, don't be surprised with those spikes. In fact, the difference between the resistance on top and support below is a mere 50 points, so the price isn't really as volatile as it seems to be. And at the end, the put turns us a good profit. Great signal. Alright, and what do you see here? What I see is a trend reversal and a potentially good entry point. Alright, look, here's the resistance and it's held for a long while already. And here's a wedge pattern, which, by the way, is a reversal one. So, what I have left to do is to get a put option and announce it in our Telegram channel. <laughs> by the way, a detailed analysis comes hand in hand. 10 minutes later, we collect the profit. Moving on, AUDCHF chart looks nice and easy too. And also very, very familiar. The price first goes down to the support and then rebounds to the resistance. And as the market's trading in a downtrend and it's trading at a strong resistance, I decide to opt for a put here. I also note MAG that supports my choice here. Alright, think we shouldn't be too greedy and wrap it up for the day. And here we are, just 4 trades with some good analysis allowed us to make $456 in profit in just a few hours of work. And I know this isn't going to be the last trading session for us, at least a good one. So I'm gonna call it a day. I'll see you in our future videos. So, make money, and as always, stay safe, and be in touch.